of how to match up the concepts that you might draw, like top, bottom, side, back views, to, um, to work with over in Mac, so then you can model from those concepts. This is a, a fairly common practice if you're trying to model something that's already been drawn out. I'm going to use car blueprints just because I think they're going to be a little bit easier to understand. But the same thing's going to work for your character model. The first thing we need to do is split these up into different um, pieces. And in this case, I have a top, a, um, a back, a front view, and a side view. And we need to align these so they're all sitting in the same space in their in their um, images. So, for instance, the bottom of the wheel needs to line up in all of these. Otherwise, modeling from them is going to be very difficult. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'll do the, the front and the back here. I'm going to use the front, this one. Let me minimize these. I'm going to use this one as my template because it seems to be pretty well balanced here. I'm going to go ahead and just flatten this since I had pasted it earlier. And I'm going to um, save this as front. So I'll save this in... Uh, save this on my desktop, I guess. So this one's going to be called how about Car Front. Car Front. doesn't really matter what we save it as. I'm going to save it as JPEG. Now this one I'm going to adjust. And what I want to do, I've already got this piece in a separate layer. So you can see I can move this around if I want. I'm going to drag um, this piece over here because I want the, the images to be the same size. So I'm just going to drag this over. Now I've got it in a separate piece above the top. In fact, they're almost pretty close right there. They're not quite dead on. And I'm going to go, in my case, I'm going to go to multiply so that I can see both pieces. Now I'm moving the back around here and using my up and down arrows, I'm just going to adjust this so it's sitting right on top of the, uh, the, the front in this case. Then I'm going to change my layer type back to normal, so we just have the back, and now this one is completely lined up with the front one. I'm going to go ahead and collapse this, flatten it, close this one, I don't need it anymore, and I'm going to save this as back. There we go, and this guy is all done. Now, this piece here actually what I need to do, I need that last one for just a second. I need to figure out what size this one is to see if it fits perfectly with this size, because this is now our template. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and hit New. And I'm going to look here at the height. It's 260 pixels. And I don't need this one anymore. So that means this one needs to be 260 pixels high. So I'm going to go to Canvas Size, and we're going to change this to Pixels. And uh, we said it was 260, so I'm going to change the height to 260. And that's going to crop it a little bit, which is fine, as long as all of our lines don't get cropped. In this case, we're all right. So now this one is the same height as my back and my front, which is what I want. Now I'm going to adjust this one a little bit and move it up a little bit. We need to go back to our back template here. We're going to paste this one into this scene, and I've got my snaps on, so it's actually snapped right to, uh, to the edges. And I'm going to put this on multiply so I can see through it. Go down to my second layer, which is this car, and I'm going to put the wheels directly where the wheels are on the back. And you can see the top is going to line up as well. Turn this one off. We can flatten this. And we'll save this one as our uh, side. There we go. 
And the last one we need to deal with is this piece. This one's a little bit easier. Now it doesn't have to uh, conform to anything except for the front piece because there's a width here that we need to deal with. So I'm going to minimize this, go back to our our uh, our back will work in this case, I guess. I said front, but the back is the same. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down here, and I'm going to have to turn it. So I'm going to go to Transform, Flip Horizontal, or not Horizontal, I'm going to flip uh, what I want, Clockwise in this case. And we're going to need to set our um, width, which is from here to here. You can see it's not going to fit exactly right now. And that's from here to here. So again, if I go to Copy, New, we're looking at this width, which right now is 336 pixels. Don't need this guy anymore. I'm going to minimize or hide that layer for a second. And over here in my canvas size, that's going to be my height actually here. And we'll go to 336. There we go. And we'll just bump that up a little bit. That gives us more room, which right now is black. And if we were smart, we would have changed that, but we didn't. So I'm just going to fill that with white. Sample that white so we know what we're dealing with. Let's just fill it in. Oh, we're in the wrong layer, that's why. Okay, so I'm just going to paint in this little black strip with white so that it's nice and neat. All right. And now we can bring back up our side view here. I'm going to go to multiply so I can see again. Whoops, wrong layer. Go up here, multiply. And... We can move this around, and it looks like we're pretty close, so I don't know that we're going to need to move. We don't need to move this layer around any. It's already lined up with the, uh, the car, it looks like. So you can see if I slide this through it, it's fitting pretty, pretty well. Yeah, it fits right up to the side of those mirrors. So we can turn that off. We can flatten this. And we'll save this as a uh, top view. Now with your characters, you're really going to have to draw these so they line up. But you can use Photoshop to squash and stretch certain parts too. So it's not probably as difficult as it might sound. Okay. And if you remember with our... Um, our images that we made. I'm going to make a quick box here. Now we need to figure out what size this box is going to be. I need to make the size of this box fit the size of the images. Otherwise, when we model that car, for instance, we're going to have a squished or stretched car if we don't put the concepts in here correctly. And go back over to Photoshop here. I'm waiting for this error message, I guess. And we're going to open up the top. And the sides. And the back and the front. This is the long way around. I didn't think this one out very well. Okay. Now here, we've got... Um, I'm going to start with the, the top here. We need to know what size this is. Now, if you have a program like ACDC, which is usually what I would use, but um, I'll use Photoshop. That's what most of you would have. We'll just go to Copy, and we'll go to New. And we've got 744 by 336. So we go over to Max, and our length, in this case, is going to be 744. So it's going to be pretty long by 
our width, which now I've just forgotten what it is, 336. Now this is using Max's default uh, units, which I use. There's, we're not saying there's a certain size here. If you were making that car to an exact size, you would have to convert Max's units to the correct size, and you would do that over here under uh, Customize and um, Unit Setup. And you can set up how big, like if you want to deal with feet, inches. I'm just dealing with Max's um, default settings here. And now we're in perspective. I still need to get the height. And the height I can get from something like this one. And my height's going to be two, 260. So my height here is going to be 260. And that's the, the box that we're going to use. So that one will work. Now we need to do a little bit with our box first. I don't need both sides of this box. Remember, we just have a front, a back, a side, and a, a, a top view, which is going to fit here on our bottom. So what we don't need, I'm going to do, go to Edit Poly. We don't need the top, and we don't need this piece. That will get us the four sides that we need. I'm going to grab all of these and flip them inside out. So now we've got the inside of our box showing, and we're almost there. Now, I said I was going to, to um, detach these pieces. I'm going to select each polygon and go to detach. I want it as an object, so this is going to be bottom. This one's going to be detached and be the side. This one's going to be detached and be the, uh, let's make this the back. And this one We'll detach, even though it's its own object right now, just to give it a name. We'll call this front. There we go. And you can see now I have a, uh, a box object right now that I can delete because it's no longer in the scene. Oops, there we go. So my box object is deleted, and now I just have a back, a bottom, a front, and a side. And they're all separate objects now, so you can see that I can move them if I wanted to. Okay, now all we're going to do is hop over to our material editor. We're going to make four new materials using our new maps. So diffuse color, bitmap, we'll go to our desktop here, and I'll do the back first since that's the first one that came up. Click our uh, blue and white checkered box here, and we're going to put this guy on the back. You can see him there. I'm going to make this self-illuminating so that I don't end up with, um, with shadows. So I can see it. I'm going to drag this over to this shader just so I need to change the uh, bitmap. This one will be the uh, front. I can't get to the front there. There we go. Drag this one over here. We're going to rename this as front. Drag this over again so we don't have to change the, the settings for where to get the bitmap. We'll do the uh, side this time. This guy's going to go here. We'll rename this side. There we go. I think I got my front and my back flipped there. Yeah. No, actually that is, that's correct, okay. And then my top, we'll just plop down here, we'll rename it. This one's called top. Okay, our top got...
their top got destroyed, I think. What happened to our top? Let me double check that. There's our top image. It looks like it got destroyed. Let me... I'm not sure what happened to the top. Let me quickly jump over here to... We'll put a new map on this guy. Oh, it's it's going the wrong way. Okay, this is a good a good thing to deal with. <laughs> if my top is squished. It's actually not mapped correctly in this case. I've got planar on here. I'm going to align this to a different view. There we go. And what I'm going to need to do is change the gizmo. And so I'm just going to rotate this guy around. And uh, I'm looking down here. Can't get to it without... Let me get it set. I'm looking down here at this z-axis. So you can see when I move this, the z-axis is changing. I'm just going to change this to 90. There we go. And then say fit, and it will fit right to it. And that's a good little lesson, because you do have to do that quite often. So now I have everything all aligned, and I can start building that car in there if I want. You can see if I go to the front view. Let me get my view straightened out here. If I um, just go to smooth highlights... I'll have all my views lined up, ready to model. And here's my perspective view. So that's how you can line these, these up. It's not hard. It just takes a little bit of Photoshop work to get everything to, to be nice and lined up and perfect. So when you model it, you don't end up with any, any weird things happening.